Welcome back to Uncork with Shannon and Tara. Today we are trying Jana Kramer's brand new wine. This wine was released January 22nd and it's January 29th. So we are <laughs> trying it. We literally just got it in the mail like four hours ago. So excited. So excited. It's still cold from being Yay. on the truck. So. <laughs> um, it's called One Brick. Um, and the labels, I don't know if you can see, but this has like a whitewash brick on it and that has like an actual brick. Yeah. Like it's a dark like red brick. and black. Yeah. I think that was pretty creative to yeah. do that. I really do like the label. Mm -hmm. It's real. It it's was very really sleek. nice. Yeah. Nice font. Um, they're both from California. So California mm -hmm. wines. So we've got a Chardonnay and a red blend. Um, the Chardonnay is 2019 vintage and that's a 2017. Mm -hmm. And this one has 13.9. Ooh. And this one is 13.1. Oh, so not bad. Some alcohol. And they said one brick is the first stop or the first step on their path. Oh. Also, so it came with this really cute, like, little, like, <laughs> really cute. <laughs> so cute. I threw it. Really cute little explainer. Um, it says, one brick is a reminder that every step matters. Building brick by brick, you can do anything. Um, whether you're building trust in a relationship, starting a new personal journey, or trying to be the best mom you can be, do it off with one brick. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited. Yeah, I'm also excited that these are twist off. I really do like quirks, but these are just easier for me just to yeah. listen to that crack best kind. Now I am really excited for the Chardonnay, but um, being a fan of Jana Kramer, I know that she is more of a red wine drinker. Oh. So I'm a little nervous. Okay. Because I don't think she really does a lot of whites. Oh. Some... Thanks. She also wanted her wines to be affordable. Um, she says she likes really expensive reds. So she wanted to create something that you wouldn't have to sacrifice the taste for the price. Okay. Well, that's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. And what was the price for these? I think the Chardonnay was 22. Okay. Not bad. So, Chardonnay is 22.99, Red Blend is 24.99. And then she said something on our Instagram that shipping was going to be a little costly cuz it's wine, which we have seen um with Spade and Sparrows, that mm -hmm. was like $20 just for shipping. But shipping was actually only ten dollars. Not bad. No, I think that is such a win. Mm -hmm. So the whole total, I only got two bottles. It was fifty-seven ninety-eight. That's not bad at mm -hmm. all for two bottles shipped from California. What we've seen, I mean, you've seen if you've watched our Spade and Sparrow videos, it's like seventy, eighty dollars to get two bottles of wine, mm -hmm. or th two or three. But shipping's expensive, so yeah, and yeah, that's a lot of mm -hmm. just the shipping. And then we were gonna do other California wines, and it was like fifty dollars to ship, and we had to opt out. We we're like, nope, sorry guys. Yeah, <laughs> um, but we'll just go to California. Yes, <laughs> take a whole suitcase just for wine. Yes. <laughs> um. All right. So this is a really pretty golden color. Yeah. Do you like that? Yeah. I like Chardonnays a lot. Um, and it's like medium. Okay. Yeah, my mind kind of disappeared. I was like, what happened? Yeah, I can't tell if they're just going down that fast or if they're slow. Yeah, that's a weird... I've never seen that. No. Hmm. I guess they're medium. It's a 13.1, so mm -hmm. not bad. Ooh, smells good. Yeah, I do like the smell. She said it wasn't buttery, but I don't know, kind of smell. It says aromas of melon and honeysuckle. And here I am going to talk about eating flowers again. <laughs> does that, does smell like that? Mm hmm. Uh, taste apricots, tangerines. It's acid driven and pairs with seafood. Ooh, I love seafood, so this would be awesome. I usually pair my Chardonnay with popcorn, but. Oh. Sometimes I like the more buttery Chardonnays. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little worried because I do like the butteries more. But she doesn't say it's oaky, which is usually the other end of Chardonnays. Like, I feel like you yeah. get either buttery or oaky, and she's saying this is crisp good. and clean. Yeah. Hmm. It does smell. Excited. It smells crisp. Yeah. That is funny you said that. Yeah. I can smell that. 
Mm. Mm. Actually, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, that's a really good Chardonnay. It's very smooth. Mm -hmm. There's like... Yeah, it is really acid-driven. Yeah, I would agree. Um, but it's delicious. Mm -hmm. My initial taste, I was a little worried because I was like, oh gosh, is this going to be watered down? Because I only tasted that. And then I tasted like the crisp right after and I was like, oh, this you're is having, actually good. You're having flashbacks to Cameron Diaz. <laughs> yes, I was like, oh, don't be too watery. <laughs> no, actually, I'm yeah. pretty impressed. This is really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Delicious. I like it. And look, you've got a coupon code. Oh, yeah. I'm excited <laughs> to use that. That's nice. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm. This is really good. Yeah, I really do like it. Yeah. It's... Good job. Yeah, especially for your first wine. Like, mm -hmm. that's awesome. I'm really hoping that she comes out with... Well, I'm excited to try the red blend, but I'm kind of excited to see what else. If this takes off, what else, like, other kind of wine she'll have. Yeah. So I think that'll be cool. Yeah. And um, she has her Wine Down podcast, mm -hmm. which is fun. Yeah, she talks about, like, relationships... Um, it is really relationship based, but like she brings on um, psychics and um, therapists. Uh, she has like a lot of different um, speakers, and it is like good to get like a therapist mm -hmm. type because then you're like, oh man, think about my relationship or like psychics. They talk about crystals. Mm -hmm. I didn't like never been into like crystals before, but I'm like, hmm, this is interesting. I know a couple people who are like. They like crystals and oh, they're pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> if it, I'm sure they'll bring me joy just by me looking at them. Yeah. So mm, I like pretty things. Yeah. Um, she should have a winemaker on her podcast just to talk about her wine. Yeah, I don't think no, I don't think she's had that yet. So that'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's had like a lot of therapists. I'm trying to think what else. Just like oh, she had the she had Zach from The Bachelor on the other day. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, and they talk about um, addiction oh, and like how to get that's... help a lot. Okay. So she could talk a bunch about of stuff. Your relationship with wine. Yeah. How it's. I have a very personal relationship with wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this Chardonnay is great. I mm -hmm. agree. I enjoy I do it. Really like it. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed. I really was a little nervous about the Chardonnay because she's a red wine drinker, but I think this is great. Yeah, I'm excited for the red blend. If she's a red wine drinker, I feel like mm -hmm. that's probably where she focused on then. Yeah, I definitely agree. Yeah, just like how when we tried Bordon, or sorry, not Bordon, that's the wrong pronunciation. Ooh. Bordeaux! Bordeaux. <laughs> um, or I don't know. Something. That took a while to practice. It took a while. <laughs> when we tried Becca from The Bachelorette's wine, she said, you know, they approached her, do you want to make a red wine? And she mm -hmm. said, I'm more into bubbly. So I feel like when you when you have a wine that you like, like you have that type of wine and you're allowed to make it, I feel like you want to make it mm -hmm. the wine you want to drink. Yeah. So I'm excited for that red blend. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. I'm just venturing into red, so I'm a little nervous. Because, you know, like, really red wine drinkers, they, like, very, I want to say, like, bitter and, yeah. like, I'm a little nervous, mm -hmm. but I'm also really excited. Yeah. I, I mean, I like more reds than I did. Mm -hmm. um, I've definitely branched out, and I can appreciate more, but I still can't get, like, the really bitter ones. Like, yeah, the really super dry, bitter ones, I just can't get. I'm, I'm not there yet. That's true. And I also feel like with red wines, like, there's a certain location and atmosphere I will drink it. Like, um, at a, like a bonfire, I'll mm -hmm. drink more of a smoky. Like, that's when I'm really craving smoky mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. I drink a lot of red wine in the winter. Like, mm -hmm. a lot. Uh, a well, lot. I don't mean, like... <laughs> it's okay. You know. <laughs> so I now that we're done the Chardonnay, we're going to move on to the red blend. So this is 2017, um, and okay. I like the color. Yeah, it's a little bit darker than what I thought. Yeah, it's it. very brick colored. Mm -hmm. um, this says 
opens with an elegant aromatic profile of blueberry, pomegranate, dark chocolate, and sandalwood. That's a lot of smells. Yeah. <laughs> Layered red fruits and dark chocolate notes carry through the richly smooth finish with a lingering pop of spice. Nice. So it is very, it has a very strong smell. Um, slow and, legs. Yeah, those are really slow. Yeah. I do really like the smell. Yeah, I smell all of what they said, mm-hmm. like individually. It's like blueberry. Yeah, blueberry. Right away, blueberry. Yeah. And dark chocolate. Paul would like the yeah. smell. I feel like you have to. You can smell the dark chocolate, but I feel like my mind couldn't figure out what that scent was. Yeah. But that was that was a third scent that I smelled. Mm-hmm. Like that's so kind of crazy. I I kind of smell sandalwood. Oh, yeah, I smell sandalwood. I don't know about yeah. like pomegranate. No. Though. I feel like pomegranate is such like a yeah soft so. smell compared mm-hmm. to those three. So maybe it's just like hidden. Oh. It smells good. Yeah, I really do like the smell. Mm-hmm. Make this a candle. Oh my god. <laughs> so good. All right. You ready? I'm ready for this. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a little drier than I thought it would be. Yeah. Um It's good though. <laughs> I it it is smooth and the dark chocolate notes do carry through because it's a little, like, a little bittery-ish. Mm-hmm. It's not overpoweringly bitter, but, um, yeah, a little spicy. But it's, to me, it's drier than I thought it would be. Yeah, I was expecting it not to be as dry. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, the same thing, but I do like it. I don't know if I could do a whole bottle. Yeah. That's the only thing, but I'm, like, very new into reds. I could drink a whole glass and be so happy and mm-hmm. just be done and maybe like this will be something that I can have like all week. Yep. Which we also like our reds cold. We do. Um, we know that's not the typical way. So it might taste different when it's like warm, but I mean I really like it mm-hmm. really cold. Yeah. It's I mean, it's no Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I compare like all reds to like Snoop Dogg because that was so good. But like I did think the smell at first smelled like Snoop. Yeah. And I was like, ooh. Mm -hmm. So I got really excited, and it is really good. It is. Yeah, I definitely prefer the Chardonnay. Yeah, the Chardonnay was definitely. I feel like that was definitely a good nine out of ten. This. I don't know, like seven point five out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm linger, l- lingering around a 6.5 or a 7 out of 10. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's good, but it's not like, like you said, I don't know if I could do a whole bottle. It would take a while. Yeah. I'd definitely I, have it over, you know, a week or two. Mm-hmm. I do feel like there's so many flavors and everything that I don't know. If, like, I feel like that's very overwhelming to have multiple mm-hmm. glasses. But with, like, Jana, I know that she just, like, she likes to have her one glass. And okay. then, like go to bed yeah um yeah i i think a good glass i could do like once in a while yep but yeah not the whole bottle yeah maybe if you pair it with something like if you pair it with dark chocolate or like meats or something um i feel like it needs it definitely i think chocolate would be a good comparison for it or Mm -hmm. like probably steak Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, maybe if you did pair it with steak, that would be different because I do really like a juicy, like, red mm-hmm. steak. Yeah. And that yeah. would kind of take away from the dryness a little bit. That's a good call. They did have, so if you go onto One Brick Instagram, they did have, like, recipes for, like, salmon and avocado toast. Ooh. So salmon would definitely go with the Chardonnay. What would the avocado toast go with? I feel like the avocado toast could go with the Chardonnay. <laughs> That sounds delicious. I thought it would be like everything. Oh. <laughs> I know they had like diff- I think the different types of like avocado toast. Okay. I like my avocado toast a little spicy, which is why I typically pair avocado toast with like white wines because okay. white wines could go with, with spice. With spice. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's mm, that sounds delicious right mm-hmm. now. <laughs> no, I think like. A salmon would go so Ooh. well with Chardonnay. Uno, one second. Cool. 
Mm. We're gonna pair this and see if our taste change. I love when we do this. Ooh, Barbecue right. chips. Yes. Okay. Mmm. That was a good barbecue chip. Mm -hmm. Okay, that completely changed the taste of it for me. Mm -hmm. Now I'm like 100% behind it. Now it's like a 9 out of 10. I don't know. It does change the taste. That's so crazy. <laughs> that. So Tara is a consultant with Traveling Vineyard. And when I first went to one of her tastings, she made us like um, put a skittle in our mouth and like close our nose. And then we didn't really taste anything. And then once we took it off, like we tasted and then we tasted wine. And it was kind of like, it had like a different perspective. Mm -hmm. So I've learned over the years, like when you try food with wine, it is a completely different taste. And I thought, I did like it, but after pairing it with the barbecue chip it tasted way better yeah the dry the dryness of drinking it alone completely went away for me mm -hmm. with the barbecue chip so with barbecued meats this would be super good <gasps> oh my goodness um mm. oh i think that would be really good yeah oh yes. <laughs> you should think of dinners next week. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we're yeah. gonna keep this in the fridge for mm -hmm. a hot second yeah i oh, smoke something we're gonna smoke some meat in the smoker yeah that's a perfect idea. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. that completely changed this wine. So, like I said, I was around like a 6.57 by itself. It's a 9 with that barbecue chip. Yeah, can you bring the barbecue so chips good. over? <laughs> <laughs> Paul won't miss them. Supportive husbands for the win. Ooh, 65 <laughs> less fat. Yeah. That sounds good. So, anyway... Summary, one brick wine. Good job, Jane and Kramer. Mm -hmm. We're going to enjoy your red blend with some barbecue chips. And we'll see you next time. By the way, um, shout out to Emily who tagged me in this. We had bought it before, mm -hmm. but thank you because we love recommendations. So please keep them up. Yeah, Tiffany also tagged us in it. Nice. She, she like texted me right away. Oh my God, did you do this? And I was like, oh. I just bought it. But thank you so much. <laughs> we are on it. Yeah. But yeah. We love having friends um, reach out to us. So thank you guys so much um, because we've also gotten a lot of other stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to, I haven't bought it yet, but we're going to do wine chips. Yeah. People have been, yeah. and like, this is <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to try wine chips. We're excited. Mm -hmm. So keep tagging us and stuff because we really like to see like what you're you want us to try yeah keep well subscribing. keep yes, subscribing keep, yeah even more important keep I, so <laughs> but we by the way thank you because we've gotten like i think let's see we had like 400 views ish on one youtube video which is awesome mm -hmm. and then like it spread out over a couple too we've got a couple more but on facebook like the videos are getting really like a lot of views like yeah we're hovering around like the 600 ish mark but we've gotten up to a thousand which is really cool so just keep sharing spreading the love yes make 2021 like the year of uncorked oh <laughs> like uncork your year with us we're hashtagging that <laughs> t-shirt idea yeah t-shirts anyway cheers guys cheers we'll see you next time so Tara is um, traveling vineyard um, wine guide. Yeah, um, I was gonna say something. Let's see word, but it's con consulting. Yeah, that's a good word too. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was in the back of my head, and I couldn't get over that until I said that word. But um, <laughs> oh <my laughs> stop! Please edit this part out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you said C word. I knew after I said it that there was going to be and some backlash. Shannon, where are you going with this? This wine makes me think of one thing. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Consultant, oh my god, it was so mean. I'm proud of you, you got the word. Oh my, were you thinking that? No. You got me nervous for a second. <laughs> <sighs> Blooper. <laughs> I'm gonna take the dog out. Thanks, Paul. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna sit right here.
great. <laughs> we do need a blooper roll. <laughs> yeah, we'll have, we'll have a nice blooper roll. Especially like the one in Charlottesville where I was like, excuse me, is your name on the title? And you were like, no. Uh-uh. Um, it's so great. <laughs> Proceed. Right. Just take it from the terrace.